The views expressed on this video are that of Gunnar Esiason and guests, and not necessarily those of the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Nothing in this video should be considered medical advice. Hey, it's Gunnar Esiason here for another Cystic Fibrosis step-by-step -step video. All right, so this video is gonna be cystic fibrosis related procedures. Now this video is not intended to scare anyone, but rather give you a rundown of some procedures that people with cystic fibrosis may go through throughout their life. A lot of them are pretty regular, uh, but we'll go through uh, some of them. But if you have questions, make sure you do talk to your doctor. All these procedures are, may not be appropriate for everyone and are only used in specific situations. So the first one is the PICC line. Uh, the PICC line is essentially a long-term IV. It's made to stay in a person's body uh, for upwards of, of a couple weeks to a couple months. Uh, it is something that uh, is very, very common amongst people with cystic fibrosis. Uh, throughout the course of my life, I've had upwards of a dozen, maybe even in the neighborhood of, of, of 15 or 20. The port is more of a permanent thing that lives in a patient's body to allow intravenous access for medications, nutrition, and hydration. Uh, I personally do not have a port. Um, I prefer the pick line route, but a lot of people in the cystic fibrosis community do prefer ports to pick lines or IVs. The bronchoscopy is something that is used for a number of different reasons. Uh, generally speaking, they, go, they use it to figure out what's growing inside a person's lungs as far as bacteria is concerned. Um, while it is a little bit uncomfortable, it's done under light sedation, uh, and it is something that they use in cystic fibrosis for very specific reasons, and it's not appropriate for everyone. So the G2 placement is something that I had done in 2011. Uh, it's one of the more painful procedures that we deal with in cystic fibrosis simply because uh, people with cystic fibrosis generally have a very strong core from coughing so much. So a stomach procedure is one of those things that may hurt a little bit in the aftermath, but as soon as the recovery passes, it's totally fine. Organ and tissue transplant is often the last line of treatment for people with cystic fibrosis. People who are eligible for double lung transplant or other organ transplants uh, can be referred to transplant clinics by their cystic fibrosis clinic. The views expressed on the cystic fibrosis step-by-step -step with Gunnar Esiason videos are that of Gunnar Esiason and guests, and not necessarily those of the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Nothing in the cystic fibrosis step-by-step -step with Gunnar Esiason videos should be considered medical advice. Such advice can only be given by a physician who is experienced with cystic fibrosis. The Boomer Esiason Foundation, Gunnar Esiason, and guests cannot be held responsible for any damage which may result from using the information on this video without the permission of your medical doctor. Thank you for watching Cystic Fibrosis Step-by-Step -step with Gunnar Esiason, presented by the Boomer Esiason Foundation and GunnarEsiason.com.